Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. It is Friday, April 23rd. I'm Mike Brookbank. And I'm Danita Harris. It's spring cleaning time, and we're not just talking about your home. More specifically, your medicine cabinets for National Prescription Drug Take Back Day tomorrow. You know, when we set our clocks forward and back twice a year, the fire department reminds us to change those batteries and smoke detectors. Just like that, this is an opportunity to not only clear those medicine cabinets, but to have those important conversations with our loved ones. This is the 11th year for the event dedicated to helping safely dispose of any unused or unwanted prescription medications. Each year, local drug enforcement agency officials say they collect more than the last. And with people staying home during the pandemic, they're expecting to see another record-breaking amount of medication turned in tomorrow. Dozens of sites, including pharmacies and police stations across Northeast Ohio, will be collecting old pills, tablets, capsules, patches, and even vape cartridges. A lot of the things that are being put into vape cartridges contain THC. And a lot of times people don't know that. So this is just a way of getting something that is especially harmful for young people off the streets and properly disposed of. Officials want to remind you, do not throw these items in the trash or down the drain because it's bad for the environment and the water supply. To find your nearest drop-off location, you can search the DEA's website by zip code. You can also find a link for it on our News 5 app. Now to an attempt to regulate garage sales in a Northeast Ohio community. Legislation has been brought forth in the city of Streetsboro to limit garage sales to four times in a calendar year per property, with each sale lasting only 72 consecutive hours or less. That proposal also wants to hit neighbors with a minor misdemeanor charge on their first offense if they don't comply. Some members of city council say if passed, they'd rather have the time limit be 96 hours rather than the 72 and have first-time offenders only face a warning rather than a misdemeanor. Council will continue to discuss the legislation on Monday. SARDA is helping get more Stark County residents to their vaccination appointments. The Canton Repository reports the transit system is giving organizations and community groups free day passes to pass out to those who need a ride to get their shot. Groups interested in getting the free passes to distribute should call the number on the screen. Riders will still need to show proof of a vaccination appointment when they get on the bus. All right, Trent, I know what bus you're on today, that struggle bus, but uh, tell us about some good weather. Look at my tie's not even straight I on know, here. What's wrong with you? Man, Friday. What a week, right? <laughs> what a month with the snow we've had all month that we were finally going to try to turn the page a little bit here and warm it up. I've got a very stray, slim shot at a stray sprinkle later on today. We'll get some clouds in here this afternoon. That's the only reason we only make it into the low 60s. The first half of the day, Beautiful sunshine, bright sunshine. Then we'll notice those high clouds kind of filtering out some of that sun. Should still be a nice day today, so try to get outside and enjoy it. We clear it out again tonight. We calm those winds down. It'll be a bit breezy today also, but that's helping us warm up. But we calm it down, we clear it out tonight, and numbers drop right back off. 30s and 40s by early Saturday. And then we got to start talking rain chances. We'll show you rain chances coming up. Plus, we got to start talking about 30 degrees, 20 degrees warmer, 80s around the corner. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.